Let's take a moment to appreciate the tremendous diversity that exists in the organic world. Specifically, how can only a handful of atoms combine to form more than 1 times 10 to the 60th different structures? Think of the building blocks as individual pieces to a larger puzzle. And by combining individual building blocks, uh, we will form functional groups. And through the combination of different functional groups, we can form organic molecules. And by looking at the various combination or ways in which uh, uh, building blocks and functional groups will combine, we can begin to appreciate the tremendous diversity that we see in organic chemistry. For the purpose of rapidly and accurately generating Lewis structures, we will reorganize our building blocks table according to connectedness rather than the number of electron pair domains. The reason for this is that uh, the connectedness of an individual atom is usually fixed and can also be ex experimentally obtained. The chart we see here is organized according to atom type, connectedness, and formal charge. The best way to understand uh, how this table is organized is to take a look at a few examples. If we look at the hydrogen atom, um, if a hydrogen is uh, bonded to any other atom, we know that due to its limited valence shell, it can only have one single bond. Um, therefore, uh, its maximum connectedness is one, and uh, we can see the example here. Carbon, on the other hand, being a second row element, has many more possibilities. If we take, for example, a neutral carbon atom, we know that in order to remain neutral, a carbon must have four uh, bonds associated with it. And if it has a connectedness of two, or in other words, is connected to two other atoms, there's a, there are two possibilities that exist. A carbon atom with a connectedness of three uh, will have one double bond and two single bonds. That's the only possibility for a neutral carbon atom with a connectedness of three. And a connectedness of four involves a carbon atom with four single bonds. What we can do is we could also consider the case in which uh, carbon has a positive or negative charge and take a look at the connectedness of each of these cases as well. I'll let you take a look at the rest of this table on your own, and what you should understand from this table is that there are only a handful of possibilities in which uh, atoms of the periodic table can arrange to satisfy a certain degree of connectedness, and by being able to recognize and draw these structures, uh, we can interpret nearly any organic molecule. If we move forward and take a look at elements located within different groups of the periodic table, we can begin to notice a few differences. For example, a group 5 element such as nitrogen um, can have a connectedness of 1 and still remain neutral, whereas there is no example of a, carbon, of a neutral carbon atom with a connectedness of 1 that exists. And what you should do now is uh, take a minute and pause this video and compare the different atoms located within different groups of the periodic table. And notice how certain combinations of connectedness and formal charge are possible in uh, one group in the periodic table while they are not possible in others. By organizing the building blocks according to connectedness, we could see all of the possible combinations of uh, the atoms located within different groups of the periodic table. And by having a strong understanding of the concepts that were presented here, you'll be able to generate nearly any Lewis structure.